I shared with the assembly that I'd been in China just a month ago and that the Chinese priests I'd met were very sad that there could be no Chinese representative here at the Synod. And then when we talked about the family, they said, you know, our biggest problem is uh, the role of parents is so strong in our society that when young people get married, very often they're not really free, so they contract marriage because the parents tell them to, and that causes enormous problems, and there are in fact many invalid marriages, unhappy and invalid, but we don't have the means of uh, actually dissolving those marriages here because the procedures are so complicated. And I have discovered then, when I got back from China a day later, that the Pope was just making the new procedures available for annulments. And I thought, this is really a prayer answered, at least a prayer of the Chinese church. I brought two other examples from Africa and from Europe about very different challenges to families today. And I drew the conclusion for the assembly here that it would be good if we could recommend to the Holy Father to give space for continental or national solutions for some of these issues because we will not be able to find answers here that match every, every individual situation. You could sense that we had only just started to work on the, on the instrumental laboratories and that the instrumental laboratories itself which is an admirable document, but also very unwieldy, really was quite a challenge for the groups. How to come to terms with its structure, its internal incoherences. So some started to rewrite it. My group, we just crossed off a lot of things. Then we heard that the Italians and the Spanish added lots of things. So I begin to uh, admire already now the work of the final um, team that will have to produce the final text, because they will have an incredible work to bring all that into a more coherent whole. What also emerged quite strongly today was uh, the concern that the original document is very much written from a Western perspective. And I would agree with that. Uh, I am from the West myself, I share those concerns and uh, viewpoints, but traveling a lot among the communities of our congregation all over the world, I realize that the questions are so different in other parts of the world. And I think such a synod here will have to address that and find a way to express uh, an acknowledgement of that enormous diversity and come to find a few common points, I hope, or then give space for elaborating those things locally.